Have you ever wanted to learn more about how to maintain your gun or possibly gunsmithing or even shooting sports management? You should check out Sonoran Desert Institute. If you'd like to know more information about their school, head on over to sdi.edu. They have payment plans available. And uh, yeah, maybe then you won't end up in this situation. Uh, gotta go call a repair guy now to fix the ceiling. Hey everyone, Ava Flanell here and I'm with my friend Tegan. And well, actually, I mean, Tegan, I just like met you a few days ago, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, her parents are actually contractors working on my house. And Tegan and I hit it off, and I hit it off with her parents too. So I was like, hey, can I just like borrow your daughter for a little bit? You're eight years old, right? Yeah. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to teach you how to shoot your first handgun. Yeah. Yeah. So are you excited? Yeah. Are you kind of nervous? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. So honestly, being nervous is totally normal. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I used to be nervous whenever I would shoot. But, but don't get too nervous because then I faint. Then you faint. Okay, that's yeah. great. Yeah, no, let's not get too nervous. Okay. <laughs> all right. So the gun that we're using today is the Smith & Wesson m and 22 Compact. I like it. Um, there's lots of 22s on the market. I like it because I feel like... It's very similar to a lot of the other semi-automatic pistols out there, as opposed to, you know, like the 22 Victory or the Mark or any of that stuff. So I figured if she learns on this, she can apply it to other guns in the future. And uh, we were practicing yesterday a little bit outside yeah. on my porch, uh, backyard, and, you know, just kind of going over the safety fundamentals. Yeah, like where to put your fingers and stuff. Yeah, because to me, that's the most important thing. So if you guys are at home and you have children and you want to teach your kids, you know, gun safety, I think the first thing to really drill in their mind is, one, if they see a gun, you know, don't touch it and get an adult. adult around. Yeah, yeah, don't touch it. Unless even if, if there's an adult, you shouldn't touch it unless you have permission. But after that, then really drilling into their head, like the safeties. So the biggest thing for me was I wanted to make sure that every time you held the gun, your finger wasn't on the trigger. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard not to, like, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you accidentally put it on, but you, that's why you need to pay attention where your fingers go. Exactly. And then what was another thing that was really important? Um, like, remember when. Point it down if there's someone up or to the sides. And just, so really just keeping it pointed in a safe direction. Yeah. Because that's like, I mean, that's like the most important thing is one, the gun's not gonna go off by itself unless you pull that trigger. So if you have your finger on that trigger, it's gonna go off. Yeah. So you don't want that. And if you have it pointed in a safe direction all the time, no one's gonna be hurt. And that includes keeping the gun not pointing at you or anyone in the room. But also, if there's someone in the room, like over there, there, or there, just point at the ground. Yeah, whatever you know, whatever you think is the best direction, but you definitely don't want to point at anyone. Um, and then we also worked on grip. And uh, Tegan, actually, I'm really proud of her. She was actually able to lock the slide back, which I know is not easy for a lot of beginners. Which I'm not going to have you do on camera. Um, at this point, I'm I think on camera when we go to the range which we're at the range now, we're just, it's downstairs. But when we go on that range, I think I'll just, I'll have you load a few rounds into the magazine. Remember how we went over that? Yeah. And then you know how to load the gun. You're gonna insert the magazine. You're gonna pull back on that slide. Remember how I said you want it to slam forward? Yeah. And you kind of want to do that push pull. Yeah. So and then it's loaded. Push it that way when you pull this one. Yeah. yeah. And then remember when I said, so you're left-handed. So it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, some of the guns out there on the market aren't really for like left-handed people, but we already practiced, you know, how to operate the gun and stuff. Yeah. You hold it when you're like that. Yeah. So do you remember how to hold it from yesterday? Yeah. Okay. So give me your left hand and just make sure you don't point it at the camera. We're going to point it this direction. Okay. Perfect. And now with this hand, what are you going to do? Yep, that is perfect. We're just gonna put this up just a little bit. A little one. This, this, yep, perfect. Good job. And then remember when I said what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of push forward with our left arm and pull back. Like this, but you still want it in the center and make all the dots. Yeah, so you want all three dots to line up. Mm -hmm. 
so that they're completely and it's completely flat on the top. So you see the top of these? Mm -hmm. It's completely flat. It is. Yeah. And then you're not going to put your finger on the trigger right now, but when we're on the range and you put your tr your finger on the trigger, I want you to go as slow as you possibly can while you're lining up the sights with the target. Okay. So that then when it goes off, there's not going to be a lot of movement. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so here, I'm going to take the gun from you. That was great. So this is the target that we're going to use, which uh, Birchwood Casey, I love their targets. I love it because it's like the shoot and see. So the minute that you hit, it sort of, um, in this case, it looks like white, but it's a lot easier to see, especially since we're shooting 22s. But this is the area that we're going to be aiming. So that's aiming. 100? Yeah, yeah, so we want to go for 100. So once those three dots, like imagine my fingernails are those three dots. We want it to look like this when we aim it at the target. Okay, that way the bullet goes in the center. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay? Okay. Do you think you're ready? Yeah. Okay, I think you got this. I know I'm you got excited. this. Good. All right, and we got you some ear and eye protection. I didn't have any youth ear and eye protection because I don't have kids, but, mm -hmm. um, but I did look through my range bag. You picked out the pink. Earmuffs. I'm big head for how small I am. Oh, well, that's great because these are going to fit perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big head too. <laughs> um, and then the ammo that we're going to be shooting today is the CCI. I believe it's a high velocity. That's what I really like to shoot in 22s. I think it's, uh, it's pretty reliable considering, you know, most of the 22 ammo out there. So, so you ready to do this? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, Tegan, so the first thing I want you to do is I just want you to load one round in the magazine. Okay, so now because you're left-handed, we're going to pick the gun up with your left hand. And then remember, so always keeping it pointed this way. So now you're going to, you got to point it this way and pull back. Yeah. Yep, perfect. All right, so let me see your grip again. No room. And yeah just like that. All right, safety is off. So you're gonna come right here in the center. Okay, look right here. Yeah, and now you're gonna extend your arms. So line up those sights. And I want you to, remember the stance that we talked about? Yeah. Your feet shoulder width apart, yep. And then you're gonna lean into it. Yeah. And do that push-pull. So you're pushing and pulling. Just enough so that you're not like, you know, limp wristing it. Yeah. Are you lining up your your little dots? I'm trying to find the right spot. Okay. I Take your time with it. it. I think I got it. Okay. Let's point it down a little though. A little down? Yeah. Okay. So Just let me know when. I'm turning a little this way. Yeah, I think I think I'm good. Okay. All right. So now you can go ahead and touch the trigger, but we're not gonna pull it just yet. Okay. And do I pull it fast? Nope, you're gonna pull it as slow as you possibly can while lining up those dots. Okay. Is it lined up with the center? I believe so. Okay, keep lining it up as you slowly pull that trigger. Okay, do I pull it yet? Yep, when you're ready, but nice and slow. It's kinda of hard to pull. Okay, can I kinda of have a little help? Yep, so how about this? Take your finger off the trigger. So you know what's going to help is we're going to, it's probably because you have smaller hands, so take this hand off. Okay. So we're going to reach your hand around okay. like this. So that will give you a little bit more leverage. Like this. Yeah, okay. but don't pull the trigger just yet. Okay, so put it up here. Yeah. Just like that. Does that, you think that gives you a little bit more leverage to get your finger on the trigger? Yeah. Okay. So let's do that same thing again. So you're going to extend your arms. Line up those sights. Are they lined up? Huh? Yeah, I believe so. And you're using your dominant eye? I'm using both. Okay, so how about this? I'm gonna put this down for a second. Okay. I think we went over this yesterday, but what I want you to do is make a small triangle with both your hands like this. You did not go over that. Okay, then that's my fault. So let's make a small triangle. Like this? Like, like this. Like this? Yeah. Like this. Okay. All right, so you see, put it in the bullseye of that target with both eyes is. open. It 
Now take turns opening and closing each eye. I can't do that. You can't close an eye? Uh, which eye? Can you close any of your eyes? You can't? I try to close one, I close both. Oh. Okay, well, how about this? So open your eye. Have both eyes open. Look at it. Can you still see that without moving it? So you're not, you're not going to move your head or your hands? Right there. Okay, so now don't move your head or your hands. Can you still see it? No, I feel like every time you do it, it turns okay. that way. Okay, so then your left eye dominant. So keep doing it. Okay. And you see the, the bullseye, right? Yeah. Can you see it? It's still where I put it. Okay. So first we're going to try it with both eyes open. If it becomes a problem, we might have to put tape on one of your eyes. Tape? Yeah. It's okay. Jeez. It's just, it, we're just going to train your eye. Okay. All right, so again, lift the gun up with your left hand. Good. Now with your right hand. And again, because we want to make sure you can pull that trigger, so we're going to bring your hand around a little bit. So take this hand off. Let's bring your hand around a little bit more. So move it this move way. This way? Yeah. yeah. Right, right here? Yep, Let's perfect. Okay, so we're going to do that same thing. So is it pointing at the center, the bullseye? I believe so. Okay, and your feet are shoulder width apart. So, yep, perfect. All right, so when you're ready. Pull the trigger slowly? But yeah, slowly, but it's lined up with those, the little three dots is lined up with the center. I feel like my finger's not strong enough. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just need to pop. So, I'm gonna shoot one, okay? okay. Just so you know what to expect. Okay. Okay. So, I'm just going to, so it's empty, the magazine's out. So, what I want you to do is, let me see your grip again. And, yep, and you're going to give yourself a little bit more space. Good. All right, so line up those sights. Lean into it. Remember, you got to, like, be a little more aggressive. Good. Okay. And now pull the trigger while line up those sights. But there's not a bullet in there. It's okay. Just nice and slow and line it up. My fingers is not wanting to. Wait, I just did it. Yeah, so you just have to pull a little bit harder. Yeah. And sometimes... I, I was pulling up here more. So, okay. So I moved it down to like right here. Uh-huh. And then it did it. Okay, yeah. So sometimes it's just like this and just... Sometimes you might even pull it and there's a little bit more of a... Yeah. There's like some more movement and then you and pull it and it goes off. It's hard to pull it as you're down there. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start all over again. So go ahead and load another round. Perfect. Okay. So remember your left hand picks up the gun. Good. Good job. And now let me see your grip. Yeah, that was perfect. All right. Line up those three dots. Yep, and now I'm going to have you move a little bit more in the center. So you're aligned with the target. Like right Good. Here. Yep, and you're going to lean into it a little bit. Yep. Now line up those, the little sights, the three little dots. They're lined up, I believe. Okay. And so when you're ready, just nice and slowly pull on that trigger. <laughs> Good. Wow. It's okay. That happens sometimes. Yeah, that's why Dad said to wear tennis shoes. Yep. Okay, so that was good. How did it feel? Kind of scared me. It was a little scary. That's why I only yeah. give you one round at a time until... Because I was expecting for... Because I was barely even touching it, then it went boom. Yeah. Yeah. But you did an awesome job. That kind of scared me. But was it kind of fun, too? Yeah. Oh, careful. Remember, we got to always keep it this way. Good. Okay, so now let's load another round. Just one. Yep. Okay. Just like that. So this time, now that we know what it feels like to pull the trigger, mm -hmm. I want you to really concentrate lining up the three dots so it looks like this. And I want you to do that the whole time as you slowly squeeze that trigger. I'm ready. Okay. But once, perfect. You got a bullseye. That Finger off the trigger. Good. That was good. High five. See, I told you you were going to be good at this. That kind of scared me, though. But, so Can it's going to... More than the first time. Yeah. Because I actually got the bullseye this time. I know. 
So it's going to be scary a little bit because you're still getting used to it. So like with anything, like I'm sure when you were learning how to ride a bike, it's maybe a little scary. Yeah, it was. And now, now you probably don't even think twice about it, right? No. So that's how we're going to get you with this gun. Okay, so let's take out this magazine. Now here's the thing. So sometimes when people, if they hit a bullseye, good job keeping it pointing in a safe direction, they get overconfident and then they forget what they're doing. Yeah. So you really still want to concentrate on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me see your grip. Good job. Hey, finger off the trigger. So this time, that one wasn't a bullseye, but it's not a big deal. So this time when you shoot, what I want you to do is you're going to, you're going to shoot and you're still going to hold it facing this way. You're not going to set it down. Okay, like I did all of the others? Yeah, but that's okay. Because this is what we're doing. We're just teaching you step by step by step. Okay. Yeah. Why? You were actually aiming it at the target, like in the bullseye. Mm -hmm. You pulled a little too hard on the trigger. Oh. Okay. So that's why you have to just pull nice and slow. Okay. Good job. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> Perfect. Another bullseye. Keep your hands. Nope. Keep your hands there. But I pulled a little too hard again. Nah, very little. You did a great job. So now, remember, we're going to, it kind of smells right from the gunpowder. And I'm going to give you a few more. Some more ammo. And then we're going to load another one. Turn okay. a little. Yep. And take your time with it. Just nice and slow on that trigger as you're lining it up. Okay, I'm not ready to shoot yet. It's okay. Good job. Finger off the trigger. So the finger goes, the minute you're done shooting, instead of it resting here, it's going to go right back here. Okay. But Can that was that? much better. How is it that you get the middle? Uh, it's just practice. Line yourself up with the target. Feet shoulder width apart. Good job. Okay. Now take your time with it. We're not in a hurry. I want you to go as slow as you possibly can on that trigger. Good job, bullseye. That was a perfect. Keep your finger off the trigger. And I want you to hold it back out. I did it. Yeah, you did it. Good job. I didn't think that would happen. Of course it's going to happen. I told you, you're in good hands. You know how to shoot bullseyes. You already know. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is like sometimes, you know, you might pull too hard on the trigger. Or you might forget, like, oh, to line up the sights. Yeah. But now what I really want us to concentrate on is I really want to allow you to be able to load two rounds. So what we're going to do is after you're done shooting, hold that gun pointing towards the target, even though it's empty and your finger goes off that trigger. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and load one more round. Nice and slow. Good job. Finger off the trigger. Good. Go ahead and pull it again, because for some reason the slide didn't lock back. I just want to make sure. Okay. And that happens sometimes. So now I'm going to let you load two rounds, okay? All right, so take your time with it. Lean into it a little bit. Good. Line up those sights and just nice and slow. That was a little hard, but it's okay. But good job. Love that your finger's off the trigger. Take your time, and we're going to go one more time, but nice and slow. Good job. That was nice and centered. It was just, it could have been a little bit higher, but that was great. Yeah. How do you feel? It stinks in here. It stinks a little bit, but you kind of get used to the smell. I, but how uh, do you feel about shooting? I kind of feel proud of myself for working hard. Yeah. And focusing on yeah. the target. Because it does take a lot of focus, right? People think it's like so easy. Like, oh, you just, I mean, but you're putting. That's what my dad makes me think. Yeah. But it's not. No, it takes, it's almost sort of, it takes, like, remember when you told me your breathing techniques, like your meditation mm -hmm. and yoga and stuff? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like that. Like, it takes a lot of, like, focus and yeah. breathing, and you have to be conscious of everything. Mm -hmm. Because you're getting this tiny little bullet in that big target. It keeps hitting my arm. Yeah, so that comes with the territory. Eventually, it doesn't even really phase you. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really filled it. I just keep hearing it drop on the ground. Yeah. 
If you can even see all of them. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think about shooting three rounds now in a magazine? Three? Yeah. I just started two. But you did an excellent job. Okay, I think you could I do three. So. I guess so. Let's line yourself up with that target again. Okay, Remember your, your oh feet are shoulder width apart. Hold on, finger off the trigger. Lean into it a little bit. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Line up those sights. I feel like they're lined up. Okay, and just slowly squeeze on that trigger, but really concentrate. <laughs> that was good, but you pulled a little too hard on the trigger. Yeah. I got a little higher up on the eight. Yeah. You got this. Just concentrate. Just a little bit slower. Act like the trigger is an egg, and we're just trying to move the egg. We're not going to break the shell, okay? okay? That was good. Do you want to shoot more? Yeah. Okay, good. Possibly cut on that trigger, okay? Okay, let me line them up. Because that's what's happening is you're pulling too hard on the trigger, and it causes it to go down. I think I'm ready. Okay, take your time. That was good. Just a little bit slower, okay? okay. Whoa, right, right underneath the bullseye. A little higher, okay. like right here. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Concentrate on that bullseye. Okay, a little bit slower. Yeah. Oh, that rings. You got this. You're nice and centered. All your hits are nice and centered. You just got to go a little bit slower. Good. How many are in here? And it's empty. Okay. All right, so Tegan, you just... Shot your first handgun. High five. How do you feel? I feel powerful. Really? I'm kind of happy that I could do it. So do you think that you'd be shooting again? Yeah. Did you, did you have fun? I think I'll maybe be shooting with you again. Did you, so, and you don't have to just tell me that. Like, honestly, do you think that this is something that you would enjoy doing in the future? Yeah, I don't feel like my dad's a good instructor. Yeah. He's like really bad at it. Well, you know. Let's hold it like this and press the trigger. Yeah. So he kind of doesn't really help. It's usually hard for parents to teach their kids sometimes, or yeah. even like for husbands and wives to teach each other. Like it's just hard for Dad family says, members. Doesn't it explain well? Yeah. So it's like. You explain better than him, mm -hmm. so that's why I did better right now, and I got the middle. Mm -hmm. Cause you got almost to the middle. I got the middle. Yeah, and yeah. You actually, that, you did better than I did. After a couple shots. Yeah. And that's because I had a better instruction than my dad instructing me, cause he's not. He just doesn't do it well. Yeah, well, it's hard. To, it's hard to teach kids sometimes, but especially you know, if they're your Especially your own kids. If he wasn't repaired for it. Yeah, but do you kind of feel like and less the funny scared? Thing about this, I didn't get any holes in the cardboard like that one. Yeah, that was I know. A thousand. Yeah, so that's actually you should be very proud of yourself for that because all of your hits target, did hit the target. Or I didn't get them at all. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. We don't have to pay for a target the cardboard because you didn't even hit that. So, yeah. good job. So do you think it's like it definitely kind of like took out some of the fear with guns? Yeah. I mean, this doesn't mean though that if you do see a gun and you're by yourself, it doesn't mean that you should you should still you know. always get an adult. Well, I'm really happy that you're going to be practicing in the future and that we helped take out some of the fear and you're really good at it and I definitely think you should stick with it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really proud of you. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed that, um, and hopefully maybe this influences you to go out and teach your kids or hire somebody to teach your kids, 
Um, but I think, you know, education, whether it's kids or other people, their adults or your friends, family, you know, it, it's always great to spread the word. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And I think it's time we go to lunch, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're out of here. We're going to go get some lunch. And then maybe come back and shoot more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.